Hi everyone, and welcome to this episode of Press Start TV. Uh, I'm filling in for Will today, but uh, my, my name's Gage, I'm hosting today, and I'm joined by two lovely Nine. people. Nine. Nine, that's me. And Taylor. So who's been here once before. I mean, yeah, second yeah. appearance on the show. Second time. Um, glad to have you in. Will Frankly, couldn't be he here. Frankly, filling in for Will. <laughs> How's it feel? Uh, well, it's, it's, a, it's a big place to Is it place. overwhelming? <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> okay, on today's episode, we're going to be talking about some Pokemon stuff. we got some Dark Souls stuff that Nine, I know, he wants to talk about so much. Yes. Uh, we're going to be talking about Mario and Final Fantasy. So let's dive in and let Nine get this out of the way. Dark Souls 3. Oh, I thought you were going to hit me with Pokemon. No, that's, that's the right soon. I don't know anything about Pokemon. That, we, that me and Taylor are talking yeah. about Pokemon. I mean, come on. <laughs> Dark Souls 3. We have a yeah. release date for Japan. Ma yeah, March 24th for Japan release date. Um, Dark Souls 1 was offset, and Demon Souls was offset, but Dark Souls Tool, Dark Souls Tool, Tool, Dark like Souls kind of Tool, the, the album. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Dark Souls 2 and um, Bloodborne were both announced for Japan, and then immediately, like two weeks after, worldwide release. So I'm not too worried about it, even if it's off by like a week or two or a month or whatever it is. Or I don't three care. Days. It's coming out in the spring. That's all I need to know. Right. I mean, I that's probably the way it's going because. As Dark Souls gets bigger and Bloodborne with its success, well, like, oh, let's put it out. Yeah. It's, a, it's a JRPG, if you didn't. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's Dark Souls. Um, Japan gets the release date, and then be like, oh, yeah, over in America. It's oh, yeah, worldwide. <laughs> also, March 24th. Yeah, so pretty, I feel pretty confident saying that. Yeah, no, I mean, they've all kind of launched in that first quarter of the year that they were announced, so. It's right. Get it out of the way. Don't compete be done. with summer games. It'll be ready. Well, and I think too that it's also a bigger thing. These games that have a lot more challenge to them are becoming bigger and bigger. So. Yeah, especially this franchise. Bloodborne was a huge success. Yeah. Dark Souls Two was a bigger success than Dark Souls One, but a lot of people consider Dark Souls One to be the better game. The better game. Mm -hmm. um, this game, I think, is going to wipe the floor with all three of those games. Wipe the floor. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's move on to another uh, another series that's Pokemon. wildly loved by everybody. I guess. I Pokemon. Don't like it. I don't <laughs> All right, so Pokemon, uh, an app was announced for 2016 for Android phones and iPhones. Mm -hmm. Pokemon Go. Yeah, it's weird. So this is a... Taylor, did you see this? I, I, only a very little bit about okay, it. Okay, so here, here's the breakdown. It's an AR game you play with your phone. You basically, your world around you Pokemon exist in, <laughs> and you can catch them with your phone. It it's like so you remember bearable. that April Fool's <laughs> joke that Google had for Google Maps, where you yeah, could, yeah it's basically thing. that, yeah, but with you know your world around you. And they, they have a peripheral coming that Nintendo's developing. Uh, that's a wristband that'll chime or vibrate whenever you're around a Pokemon in the wild. Oh my god! It's kind of cool looking. <laughs> They're just, they are still eating this up after what, 14 years, 15 years? Uh, we're coming up on a big anniversary next year. Whatever it is. It's big. Yeah. <laughs> Pokemon Yellow came out in 97, so. So we're coming up on. 20 years? That's not, that wouldn't be till 2017, they're smart, man. No, Yellow. Red and Blue came out a year earlier. I didn't. I, so I didn't 20 know. years, right? We're about 20 years <laughs> in Pokemon? Years. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Why not? Big, big industry. By the way, Gage here with Nine and Taylor talking about some Pokemon right now on Press Start TV. Thanks for listening. Um, Why so, are we talking about Pokemon? I don't know. Because Pokemon is huge. <laughs> Let's talk about. It. So this is, this is a big thing. It's like it's mixing Pokemon Snap with you know your traditional. I'm a Pokemon trainer now. Look at me. So is that how it works? You take a picture of it and that like captures it. Or? And you see it on your phone and you from the trailer, act like you're throwing a Pokeball. <laughs> you might even hit a button. So I don't know. I'm, and it, I'm a little concerned about this for a lot of people just walking around. I see a lot of phones like, like going flying. Sure. Yeah. Like, and, like, <laughs> I gotta throw my phone at <laughs> it. Another thing that I was worried about is like, you're gonna hear about news stories where like a six-year-old kid's lost in the woods looking for Pokemon. Yeah. yeah. Oh, not, yeah. You're not gonna yeah. find it. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> Sally fell down a well because she was chasing a Pokemon. Sure. Anyway, it's a cool idea. It's coming next year, so we'll see. It's a free app, but there's in-app purchases. Well, of course there are. you so got to buy them bigger Pokeballs. you got to. Moving on. Uh, so there's been a, a little bit of a tease going on last month or two for a new Pokemon game in the main series. Now, Fire I've Ruby. played through it's X and Y. No. <laughs> Taylor, you've played through X and Y. Yeah. What do you, and this is probably a spoiler if you haven't played X and Y, but you should have by now. What do you think we're going to see next? With, well, do you know what the tease has been? I do not. So they've shown off new forms for Zingard, Zygarde. Okay. The third hidden Pokemon in there, yep. the Z Pokemon. Yep. So a lot of, <laughs> thanks for rolling your eyes. <laughs> uh, a lot of people are thinking this is going to be uh, Pokemon Z. I wouldn't be surprised. Right. Why I mean, not just do Alpha and Omega? 
We did that. Oh, we did those already? That was, yeah, yeah. That was your ruby and your sapphire. A little behind the times. So it's Taylor, it's whatever. Would, would you rather see just the one, the the third? Because they usually do the third game. In yeah, I mean, franchises. I, that's what I'd imagine to see. Like that's that's what I'm. I think a lot of people are expecting to see. Yeah, I mean, it's not a unreasonable way to go. But yeah, we'll see. But well, happens. they've done the remakes now. They've they've got it set up for the next one. So I, I mean, I just. I don't know where else they'd go with it. I was... uh, and a lot of people were, were online. I saw people wanted to see like another like a like a heart silver or heart gold soul silver kind of add on to yeah. the red and stuff to see like you know play back through the whole thing. You know? Yeah, I, it would be cool to see that. But I, I think don't, I, I just, because they just made a remake of older games. I don't think that's next. Sure. On the but that's also the current trend is remaking all the old games. Like everybody's doing it. Yeah. Capcom's doing it. But they've been doing it longer. Nintendo's been doing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nintendo's it all the time. They just take their old ideas and make it a, a, a new thing and go and put new in the front of it. And yeah. The yeah, new yeah. 3DS XL. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> new Super Mario Brothers. Yeah. It's just, it's the same game. Hey, it's maybe it's going to be new Pokemon. New uh, Pokemon. New Pokemon Y? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the sentence. New Pokemon, comma, Y. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, either way, I'm excited for more Pokemon. Yes. I know you are. Sure. I know you a lot of people Pokemon. are going to be. I'll take Dark Souls. You guys can have Pokemon. <laughs> they're almost the same. They're no, JRPGs. they're not even remotely close to the same. They're Although pretty... I do collect a lot of weapons. So there you I guess go. you would say my yeah. weapons are Pokemon. Yeah, our weapons are pets. <laughs> your pets are weapons yeah. is, is more. You correct. just got to hold, sit there and hold your weapon. Our yeah, I got to actually swing stuff. it. You have to yell at yours to tell it what to <laughs> yeah. do. Well, it can't Reverse think on its own nine. Yeah, it should. Why? <laughs> it's a Pokemon. It, it knows its name. That's about it. Uh. Well, anyway, that's a bit. That's the first segment we got. We're going to go to quick commercial and be right here in a second. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome back. Still with Press Start TV. We just got done talking about some Pokemon and Dark Souls news. Pretty similar stuff there. Uh, still joined with Nine and Yo. Taylor. My name is Gage. Um, so let's get into some other Nintendo stuff. Mario. <laughs> He's joining us on the show today. Yep. Uh, He's here every week. Actually, today, uh, as of this recording, Super Mario Brothers for the NES is 30 years old. It's yeah. the 30th anniversary. Yeah. So congratulations. Yay, yeah. 30 years old. Congrats. Yay. He's as old as I am. <laughs> <laughs> How does well, that make you feel? Not that old. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's still around. He still looks great. Yeah, he doesn't have any gray there. Just yeah. Nah, but he does have a black mustache and brown hair. You think well, he's doing better or are you doing better? I'm totally doing better. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, let's. Uh, Mario Maker just came out on the Wii U last week. I have been playing it. I know you guys you know, haven't had a chance to touch it yet. No. But it, it's a pretty awesome game. I mean, I've seen some really cool stuff about it. Well, what have you seen? I've seen um, all the developer levels that they showed off at the... Um, Nintendo World Championships. Yep. Those were some nuts levels, dude. They are like, they insane. They were crazy. And I'm but, uh, probably going to stream You it. were telling me about something really funny earlier. <laughs> a mushroom that makes Mario Yeah, okay, all so there's, a, there's, a weird, there's weird. weird mushrooms in this thing, and there's a bunch of amiibo mushrooms, and you can be a bunch of different things. You can even be one of the springboards. <laughs> you can, yeah. Why not? Okay. Sure. But the amiibo <laughs> ones are cool, but there's the one mushroom they threw in there, which is like a tall, skinny mushroom that turns you into like a lanky version of Mario. Is it like as tall as the screen? No, yeah. but he's like tall as like three blocks, and he jumps really high. And when he runs, he kind of does this, <laughs> and it's really bizarre. And I don't understand why it's a part of the thing, but apparently, it it warranted being. It's like in all there. the rejected stuff has finally got a place to be, and it's this game here. Yeah, there's even there's unused assets from Splatoon in this thing. Why not? Why not? They yeah. just threw it in there. Just throw everything. Um, in. Another thing that they've talked about doing in an interview was they want to bring in a music thing. To edit music, like make your own like eight bit MIDI music kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, kind of mess with the cool. sounds. Yeah, I mean, there's actually playing through a lot of the levels people have made already, and I've been through the tutorial. It's kind of intricate, <laughs> and I'm not as good at building things as other people. Uh, there is a lot more stuff that you could do that they ne they didn't never they never showed off. Before. Oh yeah, they, I mean, they said they barely even scraped the tip of the iceberg when they were showing stuff off. It is comprehensive. There's a lot going on in there. So hey, maybe this is really too. like Nintendo's way of. Interviewing people, people. They're just like, hey, build a level. Yeah, we well, might give you a job. Yeah, there, I mean, there's that. I mean, because there's some really cool levels that like community made that are very cool. Um, and there, I, well, I always thought of Mario, Mario Maker as like this big thank you for playing Mario for 30 years. You know, here you go. Here's all of our stuff. You know, yeah. do what you want with it. You know, have your Mario experience that you wanted. Here it is. So that basically opens up every single 2D platforming thing you can do with Mario is going to be done now. Oh yeah. Miyamoto said in an interview they're working on moving Mario to the next step. What they want to reinvent Mario somehow. Yeah. 
what do they do next? Well, I had a thought actually on the way over here today of what Mario could like go into next. Think about Mario in the car? Yeah, Okay. pretty much. Think about Mario in the car. Um, what if, per se, a new villain shows up, like a new main villain shows up, and Bowser comes to Mario and is like, hey, I need your help, and Bowser and Mario work side by side to take down this new guy. Interesting. I think that could be really cool, because then you could do like a co-op element, like a true co-op element, okay, and have a lot of fun with all the different characters. That would be a pretty interesting idea. Because it would be the first time they've ever actually worked together outside mm -hmm. of like a Mario Party or Mario Kart or anything like that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you can really call that working together. No, but I mean, <laughs> we're going to fight each other. It means we have to fight that guy. Yeah. No. <laughs> um, Taylor, you, you have any idea of what Mario could do next? Uh, where, they can, where can they go? And we're talking about main Mario stuff. We're not talking about sports yeah. or cart. Yeah. yeah, we know you're not a fan of the sports stuff. It's not fun. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Honestly, I just no idea what they could do. First person That's, Mario? Hey, there's an idea. VR? I've, I've seen that online. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Really? Yeah, somebody yeah. took Mario 64 and made it first person. Oh, good. I'll never play it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mario 64 is not a good game. I'll say it. I don't care. Super Mario Sunshine 2. Mario Sunshine 2? Well, that's what I, I was thinking. Like, <laughs> what, what could they do next? And they, they want to do something different, but what else do you do with Mario that's not platforming, that's not sports? I mean, they've pretty much done everything. I mean, you don't do, you don't do a first-person shooter. They've done, they've done the RPG with Mario. Yeah. They've done sports. Twice. Every, like, sports game. Pretty much. Um, they did Paper Mario, yeah. which was also an RPG. Right. They did um, the, the four-player co-op with New Super Mario Brothers. They've, I mean, they've Mario Kart, Mario. He's you got put Mario in front everywhere. of something, they've probably done it. By the way, we're talking about Mario here on Press Start TV. Nine Taylor and Gage still talking about Mario. I'm trying to decide what Mario can do next. I don't know. Mario knitting and actually make that knitting device that they touted out about years ago. Listen, I want to see it. <laughs> I want to see the idea. I want to see it put to work. I want to know whose idea that was. <laughs> Not a good idea. Do you think it still works there? It's funny. Or it works there it's funny. afterwards? It's it's, funny. It, is, it, it is funny. <laughs> it's classically funny. <laughs> I, I was thinking if they're going to do anything, probably another open world or open area. Um, platformer, but I don't want them to go back to another 3D platformer. I mean, they kind of had that mix between 2D platforming and open world platforming with uh, New Super Mario Brothers on the Wii U. Right. I want to, I would like to see them go back to Sunshine, <coughs> where they had that weird element of like, you know, they had Flood. It, yeah. That would be cool to see again. Or even something along the lines of Luigi's Mansion, where they have the other thing that makes it unique. Yeah. So I, I want to know what they, I want to see it. You know, I imagine whatever Nintendo does with Mario is not going to be bad. Mario Sims. Mario Sims. What Build if they do something with, uh, VR? Uh, they they could. Do that too. I mean, they're the only one that's not really in VR right now. I mean, they have their motion controls. Yeah, but I mean, Re yeah. Reggie's been a big person against VR, so I don't even know yeah. if they would. He said that VR is just not going to catch on. Again, Reggie's not a developer, though. <laughs> no, and I mean, ultimately, it comes down to what the product demand is. If people are demanding VR, it's I'm guessing out. Nintendo's going to move into VR. Sure, absolutely. Yeah. Um, I don't know. You should tell us what you think was next for Mario. Let us know in the comments below. Um, so we'll make that comments was... on that next time. Huh? We'll make comments. Oh on yeah, that. and we'll, we'll respond. You know, we'll talk about your ideas and see where we can elaborate and make make our own Mario pitch. Yeah, there we go. And then we'll send it. No, we won't. No, we'll keep the idea for ourselves and we'll make money. Make, million, make millions off of it. Um, okay, that was our second segment. Next up, we've got Final Fantasy. Woo! -hoo! We're going to talk a bunch about Final Fantasy, a game I've never played. So uh, make sure you stick right here on Press Start TV. We'll be right back. Welcome back, guys. We just got done talking about a bunch of Mario stuff, really cool things. Uh, I'm still here with Taylor and Nine. My name's Gage. We're gonna be talking about a huge gaming franchise that I've never, ever dabbled in. Not even a second. Final Fantasy. So we have a lot of Final Fantasy news in the works right now. I mean, not necessarily news, but things coming up on the horizon. Oh, yeah. We have 15 coming 2016. Supposedly. Yep. Supposedly coming Supposedly. 2016. They Square says it's coming 2016. So Square's uh, been talking for a long time about that game. Yeah. Uh, well, since we, 13. Yeah. The first 13. Right. You know. Remember, I thought it was, thir it was 13 it was, verses. It was yep. supposed to be a three-part series with 13. It was supposed to be 13, 13 a Gito, and 13 verses, which is what 15 eventually became. Yeah. Wow. And then 13 became a three-part game all in itself. You gotta say, it was weird watching that trailer at E3. 
Yeah, 13 the, versus the, the yeah. 15 trailer? Yeah. Well, because yeah. we all thought it was two different, like when you're sitting in there, they didn't really explain it because we thought it was two different announcements. It goes 13 versus, and we're like, oh, cool, finally it's happening. And they're like, 15, and we're like, oh, and 15. We're, we're getting both, hooray, <laughs> hooray. <laughs> but then everybody was like, oh no, 13 versus 15. We're like, well, I, I guess we'll take that too. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah pretty much. And then on the flip side of that, we have Final Fantasy VII getting a full HD remake. Yes. So, I don't even think you can call this just an HD remake because no. they're not just reskinning the game. They're rebuilding the entire game from the ground floor. Okay, so you guys have both played 7. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Did you like 7? Oh, I love 7. I It's my favorite. I like this. parts of 7. I do not think 7 is that great of a game. <laughs> what? Everyone lo everyone I talk to is always like Final Fantasy 7 is the game you need to play. Although some people are like 6 is good. Or the or better. All the Super Nintendo and Nintendo ones are fantastic, except for Mystic Quest. Avoid that one like the plague. Don't tell me, tell them. Avoid it like the plague. <laughs> <laughs> um, Final Fantasy III, which is six. Final Fantasy VI in the States, sure. is actually really, really, really good. Okay. That's the one with um, Kefka? Yep. Yeah, Kefka. Kefka. That's my favorite villain of all the villains because he's just straight out crazy. Okay. Yeah, it's a pretty hilarious villain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, but seven, the only reason I give seven the respect that, that it gets is because it changed the way RPGs are played. It set a whole new level of art for RPGs. It was the first th full 3D RPG. Right. Yeah. Um, it still had the the hand drawn backgrounds for like the world. Yeah. But you, when you went into battle, it was a full 3D battle system. <laughs> That's the only reason I give it the respect. Is Taylor, what do you think of Seven? Uh, really, I mean, I, there's a lot that goes into it. And, uh, I, I love it just because I, I don't think that they did everything the best that they could have. Oh, absolutely um, not. Yeah. <laughs> but, I, you know, I, I really... Cut all these assets. <laughs> I love it because I really connected to the characters a lot more than I did to any game. Did you I cry? Mean, you cried. I did, yeah. You cried. Absolutely. At that one particular scene. Absolutely. I, I could not. I couldn't help it. I just. Someone I, dies, right? Well, yeah. that was also Someone my dies. healer yeah. at the time, so I kind of. Your only healer. My my only healer. Uh, this was that my was a mistake. This was. <laughs> you gotta well, get that Kate Sith in there and get get her. Nah, it, I can't whatever stand. Whatever you want to call Kate that. Sith. <laughs> I can't. I, I gotta go with Tifa and Barrett, or Sid. I always rolled Barrett and Sid. Yeah. Always. So I, I, I but, you know. So, okay, so seven on the fence and seven good? Oh, I love it. Okay, love it. Yeah, I'll play it. Sure. You know, I, I enjoy playing it. I just don't like it in terms of other games. How can Square mess up the remake? By changing the combat system. <laughs> they can mess it up in so many ways. It. <laughs> well, it's, it's going to be hard for them to make everyone happy. Right. Oh, absolutely. It's, I, there's so many ways that they could mess it up. They need to approach it just as a fan service and not as like, we're gonna rebuild this game for, for franchise purposes. Right. Do it as a fan service thing. Yeah. Don't do it for, you know, rebooting the entire franchise. It seems to me that it is a fan service work. thing though. Say that again? It seems to me that this is a fan service thing because people, fans have been yelling about this thing since like 2008. Yeah. yeah. When they shut off that tech demo. The tech demo yeah. for the PS3. Oh, they've, been, they've been asking for it longer than that. Yeah. And then when, they, yeah. when that, they made that announcement that 7 was coming to Steam or to PS4. There was oh, an like HD, God port for the PC version, which I'm pretty sure has been like nixed at this point. So you don't think if they buy the HD remake, they'll, that port version no. will be in it because to keep the original Final Fantasy? You don't think so? No. Okay. That'd be nice to do. It would be nice to, to do. To have both. But this also puts that on the fence too. Are they going to start remaking the other Final Fantasy games as well? Because they, they, they just did the Final Fantasy X and X2 HD remakes for PS3 right. and now it's coming to PS4. It's already on PS4. It, yep. It's already on PS4. Yep. Um, so now they're doing 12, mm -hmm. supposedly as well. Yep, that's the rumor. Um, Five is coming to Steam. They got the full HD version, remake, reboot, whatever you want to call it for seven. Right. I would love to see eight and nine get their respects too, because yeah. they'll be the only two left out at this point. I, well, I think that, I mean, regardless, those, I, anytime I talk to a Final Fantasy fan, it's between seven and eight. Is eight, that their favorite? All the way. Yeah, yeah, so I hear you right there. I love eight. Time, eight yeah. is my absolute favorite Final Fantasy game. What does eight do that seven doesn't? Everything better. <laughs> but, all right. See, Solid I just, argument. I, I don't like the, the combat system a lot, that as well, much. Well, uh, you mean the junctioning system, the magic and all I, that stuff? Most of all of it. Most of all. <laughs> um, I like the limit breaks in 8 far better than the limit breaks in 7. Okay. Because they're, they were more interactive. You had yeah. more control over them. It wasn't just push a button, be awesome. 
<laughs> I mean, because that's all Seven's button, Seven's combat system was. Push a button, be awesome. Yeah, I mean, that's all I need. Now, Seven's combat system had a much deeper complexity when you got to mimic and two times cut and yeah, yeah. All, the, all the other stuff. Yeah, see, you're just out I have no here. idea. I don't know. <laughs> you can get a chain of just Knights of the Round going, like, indefinitely yeah. if you set your characters up right with that. Sure. Uh, well, so re real quick, what can Final Fantasy do next to be, you know, better? What can 15 do? 15? Yeah. Have a fluid combat system like Kingdom Hearts. Yep. Okay. Since it's that team making it, right. it better be fluid like the Kingdom Hearts system. Yep. Or it's going to bomb in a heartbeat. Yeah. Really, I think that they, they have to do the Kingdom Hearts style combat well because that's just... People it's are even, so tired of playing Final Fantasy games with crappy combat systems. Sure. It's even got, like, when you look at the, the heads-up display for 15, it even kind of looks like a Kingdom Hearts heads-up display. Yeah. Okay. So there's no reason that that combat system should fail. Well, guys, thanks for joining me this week. Uh, we're about to wrap up, though. Make sure you check us out on Facebook.com slash PressStartVG for all of our updates. Uh, we're also on Twitter at PressStartVG. Uh, check us out on YouTube, YouTube.com slash PSVGTV for all of our weekly updates. Thanks again, guys. Bye. Bye. See you, everybody. See ya.